Hi, and welcome to the JAWS for Windows 20th anniversary video. My name is Eric Damery. I'm the Vice President of Software Product Management at Freedom Scientific. We'd like to thank all of the people who submitted videos and testimonials to us and wished us well for the 20th anniversary. We've included many of them here in this video for you. But we begin the video with a recording that was done in 1998 back at Henter Joyce at our home headquarters when 60 Minutes visited with us and did a story on Ted Henter and JAWS for Windows. Thank you and enjoy our video. Ted Henter is another blind inventor who's demolishing stereotypes. Water skiing is just his hobby, though he was world champion a few years back. His breakthrough invention is something called JAWS. JAWS is software that makes the computer talk. Ted was blinded 20 years ago in an auto accident. What did you do before? Before I was blinded? Yes. I was a motorcycle racer. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, Ted Henter needed to find something else to do. I was a sighted kid. I grew up with dreams. But once I was blinded, I, none of those were relevant anymore. They, they weren't going to work for me, so I had to think up new dreams. The good that came out of it was that Ted began studying computers, and before long he developed software that read computer text and turned it into speech. I have several other questions. With JAWS reading the computer screen, suddenly blind people with a 70% unemployment rate could compete for all kinds of jobs that used to be unthinkable. FedEx, Heather Stubb speaking, may I help you? If you call FedEx, you might get a blind customer service agent. FedEx has about a dozen blind employees working the phones using JAWS. You don't have to be limited by your blindness. You can go out and do these things. You can go to college. You can get a PhD. You can get a job as a computer programmer, as a software designer, as an attorney. Ted figured out a way to make Windows work for blind people. Now he's making the Internet accessible. But every day, he and his team of programmers have to overcome new obstacles the sighted computer world throws their way. How often do you have to change your software because there's a new problem out there? We, we change it weekly. Weekly? Um, almost daily, depending on the week. So we're constantly working on it. The we includes 20 other blind employees. Open the start menu. So if you're a blind customer using JAWS and you have a question, you're likely to get a blind technical support guy to answer. You just want to really stay on fixing problems. If you were to choose a word to describe what this does to help a blind person or what your goal is, what would it be? I think equality is a good word. I'm Glenn Gordon from Madison, Wisconsin. Back in 1994, I was doing database programming at UCLA and started getting concerned that my career options might become limited because Microsoft Windows wasn't accessible. I took one of the few risky career moves of my life and started working for a small company that was developing JAWS for Windows. Back then, I had no idea of the impact that JAWS would have not only on my life, but on the life of so many people around the world. Hi, I'm John Gassman from Fullerton, California, and I use JAWS at home for all of my radio work and at work as I book vacation packages for the Walt Disney Travel Company. And I also train other JAWS users to do the same. Congratulations to Freedom Scientific for 20 years of life-changing experiences with JAWS for Windows. Hi, I'm Larry Gassman from Fullerton, California, and I work for Marriott from home, and I make sure all of the scripts that we use for the Marriott system are workable for our JAWS users. I also use the computer for many home tasks, and it's given me independence that I would never have dreamed of when I started in 1997. I have Freedom Scientific to thank for that, and we thank them for 20 wonderful years, and here's to another 20 years for the future. Hello, my name is Luis Peña. I am from Cali, Colombia, South America. I have been using JAWS for Windows for over 17 years. JAWS has played a very important role in my success both as a clinical psychologist and as a university professor. 
I want to take this opportunity to congratulate Freedom Scientific for this wonderful product. I look forward to keep using JAWS for many years to come that will allow me to be as competitive as I have been during this time. Hi, I'm Maria Kristich and I'm from New York State. I'm a JD and MBA graduate student in business law and finance. And in the 10 years that I've been a JAWS user, a lot of its features have really helped me to be more productive in pursuing my studies. I'm Myrna Vona, a JAWS user and instructor from New York. My first encounter with JAWS was in 1995 when I had to install it on seven computers at the Lighthouse in New York because Eric Damry was coming to give a group of us a training in JAWS and the mysteries of Windows 3.1. Because of that training, all of the updates to JAWS and the increased accessibility of websites and mainstream applications, I've been able to perform successfully the same tasks as my sighted colleagues and also been able to communicate with my peers, my friends, and family. One downside though, JAWS has allowed me to do online shopping. That's not good because I'm probably spending too much money. But then, if it weren't for JAWS, I would not have earned that money in the first place. Hello, my name is Olivier Crespi, I'm French. I discovered JAWS in 1997, I was at university. The major change JAWS introduced for me was the possibility to use Braille and speech at the same time. Today I'm using JAWS at home. I'm also a JAWS trainer and localizer for a company called Cecia. I'm Sue Martin. I live in Springville, Alabama, USA. Last year I published my first book and I couldn't have done it without JAWS. When I first started working with my editor, he doubted he'd be able to work with me the way he worked with all of his other authors. But thanks to JAWS support for Microsoft Word and especially for the commands on the review ribbon, I was able to do everything he asked of me. We got down to work and had a blast. Hi, I'm David Pinto, president of Yes Accessible and a JAWS scripter since 1996. Without JAWS, I wouldn't have been able to provide music software access to hundreds of blind musicians, including the late, great Ray Charles. I'm up here on the roof today taking down my Christmas lights from this year's show. I had 5,500 lights synchronized to music. In just a minute when I get down, I'll show you how I did it. Well, I'm back down off the roof now, and I'm going to show you briefly how I use the software to control the lights. Outside is a controller box, and connected to that controller box is a cable that runs inside to the computer. The computer runs a special software program called light o -Rama. And that program lets you control what the different strings of lights do. I'm able to use JAWS to run that software and program each channel of lights synchronized with music. And now just take a look at the finished product. Hi, my name is Stephen Dawes. I am a Management Systems Analyst here at the City of Calgary um, Information Technology Department. I've been uh, using JAWS for 25 years, since 1989 with the JAWS for DOS product, and since 1995 with the JAWS for Windows. My name is Ed Green and I'm speaking to you from London. I've been a JAWS user since version 4 when I had to use it working in Germany for a year. JAWS has helped me get a degree. It's kept me in 12 years of continuous employment where I've been fortunate enough to be promoted three times. So I very much hope JAWS is with us for the next 20 years. Hi, I'm Aaron Howell from Brisbane, Australia. I started using JAWS at version 2.0. JAWS taught me how to use Windows, and since learning that, I've become a successful system administrator. Without JAWS, I wouldn't be where I am today. Hello, I'm Adam Gaffney. I work with the Florida Division of Blind Services in Tallahassee, Florida. I've used JAWS since version 2.0. It has made a huge difference in my personal and professional life. Without JAWS, I would not be able to do my job every day. Hello, my name is Alex Lesser, and I'm from Tucson, Arizona. I've been using JAWS for Windows since JAWS version 7. Ever since 7 came out, I've been able to independently browse the web, read and write email, do audio production, 
and a number of other JAWS tasks such as writing in Microsoft Word and Office. Hello, my name is uh, Bart Simons, I'm from Belgium. I'm using JAWS since it was still shipped on a few floppy disks. What I like most about JAWS is that it gives us blind people access to the internet and the wealth of information and applications that it has to offer. Hi, I'm Brian Cousineau. I first learned JAWS for Windows back in 1999 on a project for our company, Alliance Enterprises. You know, it changed my career. I've been involved with JAWS and assistive technology ever since. I remember some wise advice from JAWS master and friend Adam Gaffney from the state of Florida who told me, Brian, just make JAWS run faster so that we can get our work done faster. You know, I can't think of anything more exciting than that. Hi, I'm Bruce Taves in Winnipeg, Canada. JAWS is a wonderful program and I use it almost constantly at work and at home and I can honestly say that my life wouldn't be as rich as it is without the features and wonderful things that it gives me. G'day, I'm Joseph Stephen, a totally blind software engineer who has had the privilege of working on the JAWS development team since 1997. I work from my home in Australia where I live with my wife and eight children. My name is Rob Gallo. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been a JAWS user for 17 years and I'm also a software engineer with Freedom Scientific working on JAWS. I'm Jana Schroeder from Richmond, Indiana. I've been using JAWS for Windows since the days of Windows 3.1, working for nonprofits and now in higher education. I'm not in the technology field. I rely on technology to do my job, connecting with community partners, faculty, and students. JAWS for Windows allows me to be productive and effective without a lot of complicated workarounds. Hi, this is Jonathan Mosen from New Zealand. I've been privileged to have a career in broadcasting, technology journalism, as a writer, as a product manager, and as an advocate. JAWS for Windows has helped me to realize my potential. Over the last nine years, it's been my privilege to host the FSCast podcast here at Freedom Scientific. Through that, I've talked with all kinds of people for whom JAWS has helped live their dream. It really is an honor to be associated with a product that has made such a difference in people's lives. My name is Katie Lear. I'm an instructor at the Rehab Center for the Blind and I have seen many, many changes with JAWS over the years. I have taught word processing, email, internet, social media, and braille displays. JAWS has allowed me to use my computer independently without sighted assistance. My name is Mark Lear. I've worked with the Division Blind Service for over 20 years, providing tech support uh, with using the JAWS tandem feature, uh, allowing me to remotely access computers to, for medical transcription and other businesses. Hi, my name is Nero Sheth, and I've been using JAWS since over 15 years with, with version 3.2 with Andrew Joyce and now I'm using version 16. It has helped me in many ways including my job and and much more. Without this I would not be I couldn't do it. Hi my name is Otis Wilson I'm from Austin Texas. I was introduced to JAWS for Windows 17 years ago. This screen reading technology has helped me to achieve my educational and work related goals. Additionally, I've developed a passion to help others achieve their goals by using this awesome screen reading technology. Hi, my name is Pete Torpy. JAWS enabled me to do my job at Xerox Corporation as a research scientist and product development manager. Now that I'm retired, I continue to use JAWS to develop websites, make music, and create the weekly radio show and podcast Eyes on Success that I co-produce with my wife Nancy. I've been using JAWS since 1995. I started with one of the very, very first versions. I did learn how to script in the language and so forth, in the language provided JAWS, and I worked with quite a few people with FS. In the early 2000s, I actually was lucky enough to work with FS, and I worked for, in the US for six months. In that period of time, it was amazing to see how these guys, and what they did, and how they achieved these things 
to make it possible for us who cannot see how to use our computers. Since then, I have progressed to become a manager in networking, and now I'm in Cisco working as a network engineer. So this product allows someone vision impaired some, a lot of independence and the ability to move and grow in their chosen career. Hello, this is Stuart Lawler from the National Council for the Blind of Ireland here in Dublin. You know, I've been using JAWS for Windows since 1996. As a user, as a trainer, and as someone who provides support, I've always been impressed by the innovations that come from Freedom Scientific, which for me and so many others have quite literally changed our lives. Congratulations on 20 years of JAWS for Windows, and here's to many more. My name is Rob Benson. I'm from Eugene, Oregon. I've been using JAWS for Windows for 19 years. I live on my computer and we calculated that I have spent almost 85,000 hours using JAWS. That's almost as many miles as my mom has on her car. Thank you, JAWS. I've gotten a lot of mileage from you. Marco Savaresi, su Vision Milano, distributore per l'Italia di JAWS dal 1996. JAWS si è dimostrato fin da subito l'unica opzione concreta per poter dare accesso a questo nuovo ambiente operativo. I ciechi hanno man mano imparato a conoscerlo, ad abbandonare l'ambiente testuale e a integrare lo screen reader in maniera tale eh, con il sistema operativo da rendere il legame tra le due cose indissolubile.